In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can quickly create a simple geometry node setup that allows us to set frame in and out points for our objects without having to use any keyframes. So for example, for this monkey, I can set the in frame to frame 100 and out to frame 150. And now you can see that it appears on frame 100 and disappears on frame 150. This works without any keyframes and is a lot faster than always having to animate the visibility in the outliner. Alright, so to make this work, let's first open up a new window and switch this to the geometry node editor. Then let's create a new node tree and I'm just gonna call this in slash out. Then let's add in the most important node of this tool, which is gonna be the switch node. And here we already get this checkbox that we can use to hide the object. Now in order to make this work on a certain frame, we need to add in a scene time node. And here we have this frame output that always gives us the value of the current frame. So currently this is gonna output the value of one. And if we go further to frame 75, this is gonna output a value of 75. Now to use this, we also need a math node. And I'm gonna switch this from add to less than. Now let's plug the frame output into the first value and set the threshold, for example, to 85. So now whenever we are on a frame below 85, this less than node is gonna output a value of one. And as soon as we are after 85, this is gonna output a value of zero. So let's plug this into the switch and you can see as soon as we're below 85, the object is gonna disappear and it's gonna reappear once we go after frame 85. So this is now our in frame and we simply need to repeat the same thing to create an out frame. So let's duplicate the switch node with the shortcut shift D, then also duplicate the less than node and we're also gonna use the frame output for the first value. Now the only thing we are gonna do different here is we're gonna switch from a less than to a greater than. Then also plug this into the switch and let's set the out point to frame 150. And now you can see the monkey still appears on frame 85 and then on frame 150 it is gonna disappear. And we can always adjust those frames. So let's say we want to switch this to frame 200 now it is going to stay here until frame 200. If you go to the modifier properties, you can see that we have this geometry node modifier in here. We want to make those in and out frames available in the modifier so we can quickly access them. To do so, simply take this output of the group input and plug it into our thresholds. And now you can see that we can directly adjust those values directly from the modifier. So now this is already working perfectly. Let's make a few last adjustments. So in the geometry node modifier, I'm gonna press N to open up the side panel. And under group, I wanna rename those inputs. So the first one is gonna be the frame in and the second one should be renamed to frame out. Then let's also switch the type from float to integer for both of them. And I wanna make the default value for the in to zero, which it already is. And for frame out, I'm just gonna set this to 250. So now our geometry node setup is done and we can use this on any object we want. So let's close the node editor and I'm gonna add in a new object. So shift A, mesh and add in an icosphere. And now to add the same node setup, simply go to the modifier properties, add in a geometry node modifier. And from this drop down menu, we can now select the in and out node group and then simply set the in frame to for example 50 and out to 75. And now you can see this object appearing on frame 50 and disappearing on frame 75. And we can set other values for the monkey, for example, frame 35 until 85. So now first our monkey appears, then the sphere, 
then the sphere disappears and then the monkey. Now this is a lot faster and a lot more useful than always having to set the keyframes for the visibility in the outliner. That's it for this video, thank you very much for watching. If you found it useful, you might be interested in all the other Blender tutorials I have available on my channel. I am Nick from Blender Daily, see you in the next one.